Oil is absolutely getting smoked today. Um, this is what happens when you slowly go up. You have a crowded long positions. Take out the lows. This is a very prominent low here, 52 and a half. And it just goes no bid. I'm sure the algos are leaning all over it. Um, but I wanted to say, listen, I just covered all of my futures that were short. And I still have some 50 puts, some short calls, 53 or 54 strike calls, I'm short. And I'm still long some 45 puts that that was the start of the core long or core short position since we started to break down here back in March. Um, but what's important, guys, you can you can look into the headlines. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't dig into the headlines. It's all smoke and mirrors. The narrative doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, it's too late anyhow. Okay, you had to be shorting into this move, looking for a lower high relative to the highs from earlier in the year. We made a long-term lower high. Um, whether you're looking at the daily or weekly le weekly levels relative to to these highs here, and this is a this is what we call a swing line bearish sell setup in the model. And as soon as you started to trigger below the eight, you start to make lower lows that started to roll this intermediate term picture bearish. All right, so we want to be a seller on the next rally. Okay, both, you know, near term as well as over the intermediate term. And, um, you know, if it's gasoline builds, again, I don't really, I don't really care what the storytelling is. This is, this is a long term lower high now. I thought we had a good chance of failing at the bands here. We squeezed everybody a little bit further. This is why it's important to know how to work a position so you can stay short. And then when you do get the, you know, the reversal and the cycle back the other way, you can take advantage of it. So anyway, from here, what we want to do, let me clear this drawing. This is a massive wall now, guys. Any type of bounce, we want to be selling into it, but about halfway, oops, about halfway up now. Look at this BCI. We call this a bullish candle ignored in the model. This, this small little candle right here. It happens to mark the middle of the move. All right, that's just beautiful. So. This is a pretty bearish wall now. Okay. So any rally about halfway back up is where we really want to start to look to start setting our size short. All right. This is an hourly chart. For, so this will be over the intermediate term. And then we'll just come in and see where we are tomorrow. I mean, we're there's no doubt you got to you got to cover some. But guys, we were short from this morning trading this around on the short side. All right. There was a 15 minute cycle in here. Short cover, reshorted. And then this is just me covering a lot of my core short today, also. I'll show you what that looked like, the kind of day I had. All right. This is our active trader room. This is this is my real time alert service. So anything we're day trading, swing trading. You can see on oil here, I was covering some futures. It was only up 500 bucks the day at that point. We resold into the bounce prior to the number. This is me taking off some NASDAQ long, 1300 bucks, buying fives. This is our day trade signals that, that we had mentioned, both in the live room and here on the, the real-time alerts product. So just covering some futures there. I'm still long puts and short. This is my Euro trade. I'll do another video on that after this to put out later. That was our Euro day trade. Nice day there. Um, this is my latest signal to cover into this low. So you can see I'm flat futures. Nice day. Still long some puts, 45 strike, 50 strike, and then short some 53 calls that we sold into the high. We sold, we sold those into the strength, and those are... You know, those are really collapsing in value. So up over nine grand a day on oil. Um, this is just how we trade. It's about having a model, about having a process, and then learning to, range, <clears throat> learning to manage the risk. 
around the model. So how do you work a position? How do you learn to trade around a core position so you can stay in for a move like today? A lot of people stopped out, a lot of people threw in the towel. I mean, that's just not what we do. So guys, if you're interested in learning the model and joining our our team, visit JenkinsRM.com, JenkinsRM.com. The full access team is the team that I'm building. Um, it's, it's a group of traders all around the world. We trade Forex, futures, stocks, equities, whatever's moving. So that's the full access team. Welcome to join us or give it a trial. and You can pop in for a day, but we trade every day together. And then uh, we have a real-time alert service that's both independent and institutional. We cover, again, fixed income, futures, commodities, and then uh, individual stocks, swing trade, long-term basis. I do some analysis as well. Um, but all that info is on the site, guys. Check us out, JenkinsRM.com. And uh, we'll be back with you with a Euro update on our day trading. Um, we had a nice trade there this morning, so I'll do a video on that. Talk to you guys soon.